as planned in here is um, Brian Johnson from ACDC, who is celebrating his Christmas at Newcastle, yes. which is his home. Tell us about your what you're going to do this Christmas. I'm going to stay at home, Jules, get drunk with the lads, a few games of pool, as you can see. Because oh, you, 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 we met just a mere ten minutes ago, and you were yeah. saying that you really liked, like, everybody else in the band lives everywhere else in the world. Why don't you tell us where they all live? Uh, well, Malcolm and uh, Phil live in Sydney and Melbourne consecutively. Uh, Cliff lives in Hawaii. Uh, Mark, uh, Angus is in Holland, and I'm in a tune. Newcastle, to the sudden viewers. You've never been tempted to sort of move out to somewhere like Los Angeles or Hawaii or Sydney or somewhere like that? Nah, not really. I'll live here the same reason that you do. You all mm -hmm. like it. <laughs> could give it all up and become a pool player. Yeah. See, this is a misspent youth hanging around in clubs and clubs and shields and places like that. Isn't that right? Who is, uh, this is Chris Carey, by the way. In case you hadn't met him, this is the Tube DJ, the man who spins the whizzing sounds every week. Who's, uh, thank you so much. A serious game of pool happening there. Um, what, do, you, do you actually play pool quite often in local pubs? Snooker has me game, I yeah. like snooker. I'm not very good at it, but I enjoy it. You know, it's, uh, the pool's good for a game in a pool. Man. Just going back to what you're saying about you living in all four corners of the globe, don't you find it a bit hard? I mean, my band lives all over London. It's hard when we rehearse because they moan about travelling. I mean, what do you do when you rehearse? Do you meet in an island in the middle uh, of the sea somewhere? No, I, we, we usually meet in London, you know, or... or as the case will be next year, uh, Isle of Man. We're going to meet all meet the Isle of Man. It's oh. definitely hard enough. You can get uh, you can get up north there and, and all the other programs and BBC. At least you, you feel like you're home. Yeah. More than anything, you yeah. know. Yeah. More wise, all that sort of thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what we like to hear. A real Englishman like and a real Christmas. Right. That's the sort of thing we all. Well, I mean, I'm going to be doing that, drinking right. me pints of beer and all that sort of thing. You know, the other thing that I found out, which I didn't know at all, was you've got some cars. Tell us about right. a couple of your cars, because I'm, I'm interested in them. Yeah, well, uh, I've got uh, an old Woolsey. I know you've got an old Buick. Yeah. Oh, that's a belt, I don't know, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I've got an old Woolsey, 52 Woolsey, 450. Uh, got a... Oh, Chevrolet Blazer. Yeah. And, and the Harley Davidson. I'm a Harley Davidson, I'm a motorbike. That's me pride and joy. That's, it's a beast of ride. Like, I keep falling off it, so if anybody sees it, pick us up somewhere. <laughs> do, you buy, do, you buy, do you buy stuff when you're away on tour? That's where I like to buy them, mainly. I've got my Chevy there and my Harley Davidson on tour and all that. So it will be the same as you. If you can usually find them in nice little places, you know, that you never expect to find yeah. them. You know, they're great. What, what, are you, what is the band doing at the moment? What are you? Are you? planning a big tour for the new year? Yeah, well, uh, we'll start the album, uh, the new album in Feb, then next year we've got, the, I think, the biggest tour I've ever even tried to start. What we're going to try and do for the first time in the States is get a totally British package. Now, I've spoken to uh, Davey Coverdale and Ozzy Osbourne and uh, the, you know, the, the rest of the band, and we're going to try and get a package there so that the Americans can have a, a full package of English bands, like they used to do in the 60s, uh, you know. Yeah, I can't, you know, it's, it's a long thing, but I, mean, I think it's a good idea. Because another thing you were saying earlier, in fact, about Aussie Osborne and people and yourself, is that people actually like might have the image of being really over the top and wild, but in fact, underneath it all... Ah, they're like pussycats, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, you know, well, let's put it this way, you've got to have... Uh, it's all right to make an image like that, but at the same time, you've got to have the presence of mind to uh, know exactly what you're doing, otherwise you start getting ripped off. Yeah. Yeah. And I bet there's a few fans can tell you tales are getting ripped off. So you've got to know what you're doing, you know, at the yeah. same time. You've got to be careful. Mm. But, it, you know, have a good time while you're doing it. Yeah. But, uh, you know. Oh, well, we're starting to run out of time. We're going to see a video in a minute of you. And I'm not actually sure what video it is. But While you weren't looking, by the way, I'm uh, sorry to tell you. You've been, been, you've, you've been beaten. Look, oh, I went on. I was looking. Please. No, that's what oh, I'm saying. Well, well, I hope you have a great happy Christmas up here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have a happy Christmas up here. Uh, no, I'm going to fly back, actually, because that's where I live. But I think right. see you're all going to be in the pub and doing all those sorts of things. Like we are, as are we all, the time of goodwill to all men. So now let's go and have a look at this video, which uh, isn't on this piece of paper. But it doesn't matter because it's Christmas. Let's just see what it is.